Carswell Air Force Base didn't bring home all the marbles, but they certainly brought back their share of them. The FB-111 has proven itself. The seventh bomb wing has proven it can bomb a target, and everybody's relatively happy. General Sherman said it first, war is hell. Preparation for war, like the exercises in Orlando, are merely exhausting. And sometimes, for newsmen, just a bit fun. J. Lewis, Channel 8 News on the Move, in Orlando, Florida. The latest of the locals to come into agreement on its local pact is the assembly plant in Arlington. And this morning, Channel 8's Jerry Park talked with the president of that local, Mr. Jim Thornell. We feel that it is an honorable settlement for our membership. I feel that at this point I should not comment on the issues. I think I owe it to the membership as their president to first present the issues as they are settled to our membership. The feelings of Mr. Thornell are echoed by most of the local presidents around the country. They feel they got a real good package. The local in Dallas, that's the uh, parts depot on Simmons Freeway, ratified its local contract today. They said they'll be back to work Monday, or so says the president, Mr. Jim Sheffield. Uh, I think that uh, in, for our plant, we'll be back in Monday, and uh, I think that production will resume almost immediately. Yes, sir, I did. I uh, didn't see the train or hear until the last moment. And it seems like yeah, I hit pretty well. Lunacy transfer from the South Dallas Mental Health. I hurt you badly, man. No, sir, not too bad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, did you just not see the train? Yes, sir, I just didn't see it at all.
The primary purpose of our educational system should be to produce great men and women, not great technicians. Great men and women who have the wisdom to manage the tools, the resources that, that have been accumulated over the years, use these wisely for the best interest of our entire nation. Wing Commander, Colonel Green. Aircraft Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Russell. Navigator, Navigator, Major Ely.
Gaulle, who brought greatness back to France, who restored France's pride in herself. Now General de Gaulle has been dead for more than a week. What is the effect on the French nation? First of all, the idolatry of de Gaulle is continuing. His picture and name still on the front page of every newspaper. There are special editions of every weekly and monthly magazine. Already, the largest public monument and the most important public monument in Paris, Place de la Croix, the Arc de Triomphe, has been renamed the Place de General de Gaulle. Now that he's dead, what will the effect be on France? Well, he's already been out of office for 18 months, and he was staying in virtual seclusion at Colombe. It took a de Gaulle to bring greatness back to France, but apparently it will not take another de Gaulle to maintain France's greatness. What of France's relationship with her allies? That can be seen most clearly in the organization of NATO. France was pulled out of NATO militarily by General de Gaulle as a way of stating France's independence. Will France now rejoin? According to officials at NATO, France's attitude is now more cooperative, but apparently there, was, there is little chance that France will rejoin NATO militarily. Indeed, there's some fear that France may turn neutralist, not even permitting the transport of French, of other troops across French territory. France, after de Gaulle, a country restored to greatness by the general, a country intent on remaining great without him. In Paris, this is Travis Lynn, Channel 8 News. You don't need an advanced degree to determine that the rivers are polluted. All you need is a good nose. On a scale of 100 points, Having a man come to tell me that a river's polluted is worth about two points, and I'm being generous to him right. The future of this country belongs to the men who say the river is polluted, and here is what we're going to do about it. Yes. How so? I think that a woman has an inner feeling for children that a man doesn't have. I think a woman can talk to a child about his problems better than a man. Now that happened one time when you were uh, at a juvenile home. Could you tell me about that? I was visiting the juvenile home to talk to another child once and a child had escaped from the juvenile home and was being returned after he'd been caught and I had interviewed him once before, about two years previous to that, and when they brought him back in and told him he was going to have to go to the county jail, he said he'd like to talk to me, that he had some things that he'd done they didn't know about, and he wanted to tell me about them. And that cleared up several crimes, I understand. Yes, several burglaries. I think the progress in the Paris Peace Talks is simply the fact that they keep the door open there. This permits a shelter for private and secret conversations between the belligerents in that conflict. If it weren't for the Paris peace talks, it would be very difficult to meet anywhere in the world uh, with the North Vietnamese or anybody else. So I think that the talks themselves will not produce a result, but the presence of the talks or the existence of the talks is the shield for which the meaningful conversations behind the scenes are, in fact, taking place.
as a whole, uh, there were signs on this campus that you know just wouldn't last in Austin. I mean, they you know they'd be ripped down or uh, written on or things like. I mean, for example, all over this campus you have this sign that says, "If you've got it, flaunt it." Um, you know, let the Dallas Cowboys choose the seven best pieces of meat for the year. And, and Work began today filling in the much-talked-about ditch in the Carriage Hill edition of Forest Hill, the ditch where five-year-old Terry Dwayne Zebo drowned last week. The operation is being conducted in three areas. On one end, a front loader is moving dirt into the ditch, reshaping the canal. Loads of dirt are being transported to the area from another site to fill in the canal on either side of the main ditch. At the far end, pumps are working to lower the water level some four to six feet. City manager of Forest Hills, Bill Pierce, told me the final phase will be to reshape the main ditch here until it becomes the width of a normal drainage canal, about 60 feet. He said under normal circumstances, it would be dry, but after a rain, there would be water in it, but that should dry up within 48 hours. All this is being done because of the efforts of a group of women who circulated a petition following the Zebo child's death. Area residents will breathe easier when the final load of dirt tolls the death knell for the monster, but they'll never forget how it looked that night that it took the life of one of their own. Jerry Park, Channel 8 News on the Move, Forest Hill. Well, it was with reluctance, but uh, mainly it was because of the time that I'll have to put into it. I don't think, I know I won't have the time that I've put into it in the past. And I feel like in view of this, that the job then ought to go to somebody else. Will you continue to be active in the Republican Party? Yes, I want to stay active in politics and in campaigns. Well, how do you feel about the defeat of this past election? Well, they were... A surprise. I think even the pollsters and forecasters casters gave us some chance for election. Uh, it was a disappointment, but uh, I'm really not discouraged, and I'm looking forward to 1972 with probably equal chance of electing somebody, if not better chance. Does this have any effect on your resignation? Uh, no, the defeat does not. I don't think we have the conservative trend that uh, Spiro Agnew talked about. I don't even think Spiro Agnew thinks so anymore. Uh, I'd be willing to wager if you could be under the table in the president's office, you'd find that he didn't think so. You note that there's a lot of talk now about changes in the administration and even dropping uh, Mr. Agnew uh, before the 72 campaign. The fact is that in this election, except for a couple of losses in the United States Senate, uh, under rather special conditions that the anti-Nixon forces didn't do so badly. In fact, they did rather well, much better than anybody predicted when this election started. Uh, the, the, after all, the principal concern in this country, and it always turns out to be that way, are economic concerns. And now I'm referring to the high level of unemployment and the continuing inflation, and it's quite apparent that in these areas the Nixon administration has failed. Jerry, any time two church crews get together, you can look for a real exciting football game and a hard-fought football game. And with Baylor improving tremendously uh, in the last two ball games defensively, I would expect uh, a very close football game. At least I'm hopeful that the SMU Mustangs can make it close. How is Hickson's knee? Well, much improved, uh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm, I'm still uh, doubtful about how much he will participate, but I do believe after one workout now that he has shown enough improvement that he will play in the ball game Saturday. What is the morale of the team after the Arkansas game? Well, of course, Jerry, we're very disappointed to have lost Arkansas, but at the same time, being realistic, we realize we lost to a great football team, and I really believe that from a defensive standpoint, uh, we played uh, with uh, the capabilities that we have. We got the most out of the youngsters, let me put it that way. Offensively, uh, with four offensive starters out of the ball game, we didn't look good and Arkansas's defense made us look bad. So we have our goal set in the next two ball games against Baylor and TCU to improve.
Mrs. Williams is head of the Indian Council, now that you've seen the movie. Do you feel that this portrays the American Indian properly, or do you feel that you're going to, and the group, going to march on City Hall like Flap did? We thoroughly enjoyed the movie and the way it was produced, and it really gives us motivation. I don't know if we'll march on City Hall today or not. Thank you. It's a great movie, and the latter part of it portrays us so much that it will motivate young adults, young Indian adults, to move and take that step further as they were taking him to his burial ground. We are dedicated to this, to depth, understanding, and I think this movie is a great motivating power for the American Indians.